Sunday afternoon, it's beautiful out, and figured why not have crabs today? Maryland, it's about 65 degrees a day, sunny, so I'm gonna do a video on how to cook and eat Maryland crabs. We're down here at Mel's Crabs in Calvert County, one of my favorite places to buy live Maryland crabs. And it looks like I don't know if they're open yet. Let's see. Look, I'm teasing my daughter. She always gets mad when I buy crabs. Uh, yeah, All right, we are headed home. We got a dozen and a half large males and jumbos actually, and uh, headed home to cook them up. So I'll let you know as soon as we get there. Okay, we're back to the house, and I'll show you the process. I really don't understand. I talk to a lot of people and they say they're surprised that we cook our own crabs and it's really easy and I don't understand why. Um, maybe just people don't feel like cleaning up afterwards, but I'll show you what we do to make all that stuff a lot easier and at least you know what you're getting. You're getting fresh crabs. You get to season them the way you want them. So um, this is what we do. So I got this I've gone through a couple crab pots. This one I got off of Amazon. It's not a crab pot. It's a stainless steel uh, steamer, I guess they call it. And it's really nice because uh, the only thing that I had to do, I had to add these little feet on the bottom. And all, all they are is little screws from Home Depot. Everything's stainless steel. And it just keeps it, you don't want your crabs sitting in the water or broth or whatever you use to steam your crab. So it just gets it out just a little bit. And um, this is a big one. I can, I can get a lot of crabs in here. So here are the crabs. They come from Mel's and he just puts them in a garbage bag. Um, I think sometimes people are afraid of these things, but they're if you know how to handle them, it's, it's really not that bad. Some of the other stuff that we normally have. So Mel's has his own crab season. And uh, it's, I really like the taste of that. Um, of course, Old Bay, something to melt your butter. We use um, packing paper from Target and um, it just helps with the cleanup. And then, oh, can't forget. Uh, part of the recipe is beer. I know it's a good beer, but um, for crabs, but it's worth it. And then the syrup, and then just white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar. Um, so I got a dozen and a half jumbos. Um, his prices are usually $79 for jumbos, a dozen, which is really good. So. What I normally do is just, I just dump them out in the sink. And uh, careful they don't bite you through the bag, because they will. And you just gotta shake them out here. Make sure they don't get away. Uh, those are some beauties. So, it's October and good time of year for crabs, so. Uh, <clears throat> so, when you go at the crabs, they're gonna try and, <clears throat> and nip you, so you don't wanna go straight at them when they're sitting like that. If they're sitting like this guy, you can go behind and catch, catch this little back leg, and once you hit that back leg, you shake them loose. They can't, <laughs> actually, he almost got me, um, but they can't get you. If they, <laughs> boy, this is so hard to do. <laughs> it's so hard to do with an iPhone. <laughs> um, so I'll let him <laughs> hang there for a minute. Um, but you, you just grab that back leg, and these are so strong. Um, sometimes I will use
I'll use tongs. So when you get a guy like this who wants to fight, you just turn him around and, and get him so that he won't fight. And you just pop him in. And I think this guy would, it seems like he's just gonna, there, he finally let go. All right, so, um, boy, these are strong. And it's normally I use two hands, so um, maybe what I'll do is I'll set the camera down because I can't get them loose with the one hand, so hold tight. Okay, before we get too many crabs in there, I want to show you how to make the uh, sauce. So I do one can of beer, I mean, one, one bottle of beer, one bottle of vinegar, and one bottle of water. fire on because it's not going to take long to fill the pot up but usually when I get you know three or four crabs in there I just go ahead and dump the seasoning right in there I like a lot of seasoning so use as much as you want and just put it on high and put the rest of the uh, crabs in didn't quite make it. <laughs> so I'm gonna cook these for 22 minutes. Um, it's just a number that kind of works out well. So while those are cooking, I'll set up the table. I mean, we have a glass table and we use mallets. So we have this um, tablecloth that has a little bit of a like cushion to it. Never had any problems with it. It also makes cleanup easy because it's kind of waterproof. So we lay that out. Next we use our paper. Um, a lot of people use newspaper. We don't get a newspaper anymore. So we just buy this stuff just for bring up so It's the same stuff that you wrap packages in. Got everything all set up and we got the butter it's melting and uh, we have a bowl there my wife likes to rinse her hands while she eats crabs and now we just wait a few minutes for the crabs to come out so it's been 22 minutes and you got some steam coming out of there which is always a good sign 
and these should be done. So just take a look. Always be careful. Woo! Yeah, buddy. So those are done. And there and you see a nice red color and you, see, you can smell them when they're done. So let me get these over there and uh, see how they taste. Typically, I just lay them out on the table to cool a little bit because they're really hard to eat when they're this hot. But they, they are done. When you see that coming out of them, you know they are cooked. These are, these are nice, nice size. So these are ready to eat. The butter's ready. And I'll show you how to crack one open here. This is for non-Maryland people, because every Maryland knows how to eat these things. Okay, so the first thing you do when you get these crabs is you pull a little tab off the back, just pull it up, break it off, and tear the shell off. These are still really hot. Next thing you want to do is get rid of the, the lungs and the mustard. Some people eat the mustard, some people don't. It's just preference. But again, these are real hot, so. Okay, so now you got that. I already tore those little things off. When you tear off whatever these are, and then there's a little seam in the back here. You just split it right along that seam, like that. Then a lot of people just shake some of the stuff out. Make sure you don't, do not eat those lungs, they're no good. But then what I usually do is I give it a little squeeze, like that. Man, they're hot. And then that allows you to just Split them open like that. And once you got it split open like that, then usually you can get a really nice piece of meat that you just dip in your butter and mm. that's how you eat Maryland crabs. Good luck. <laughs>